So I actually failed my AS levels. It was at that point that then I realised obviously I had to do something in my life. So it was my old maths teacher from GCSE that suggested perhaps accountancy was an area because I, I was quite good at math. I ended up doing an apprenticeship in effect. I started off as a trainee account and audit in a small firm, then tailed in to doing a college course one evening a week release where I did AAT. Once I'd qualified in that, you go to the next step if you want. I'd never really thought about whether I wanted to be an accountant or not. I didn't do it. I didn't go straight into ACCA or ACA. I came to inland after I did four years in practice, which is like your audit firms. I started off as account assistant, which is basically your data entry, your processing of invoices, check runs, payment runs. So I became uh, assistant accountant, which basically, I, can't, I don't think there was much change in the actual works. Then I moved on to management accounts, which is then you come away from sort of the data entry to the numbers after the data has been processed. So has that invoice been coded to the right place? Is that cost in the right header? And then after that, became senior management accountant whereby I'm removed from the data entry and producing those individual accounts. I guess you've gone from data entry to reviewing in effect. You don't have to be an accountant because you love numbers. You can be an accountant because you like processes. You like to follow through on where numbers are. What's this? What's that? You need Excel, but you can be very basic level of Excel, just how to sum numbers and how to format Excel. You don't need to particularly look at you know, all the if formulas and VLOOKUPs and stuff like that. When you get later into your career and you start doing financial modelling and stuff like that, you can learn those things, but you can learn those on the job. You don't have to learn them on day one. Communication, because like I say, you're dealing with everyone. And let's be honest, half the time they're going to be angry about something. They either haven't been paid when they want to be paid. Your own people within your own in, you know, company are going to be annoyed that their people haven't been given priority. So you just have to be, like I say, you have to set your stall out and be honest. I think the good thing with accountancy is you don't particularly have to already be in it to start it. I didn't have any qualifications obviously when I started. You go into a trainee role and you will get your training. You could just start with ACCA and do the foundation course in that. You don't have to go any further, you can go as far as you like, but if you do AAT or you do the ACCA foundation,